welcome to the Coach Tyler Show. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Coach Kyle Show. Um, it will be poor if I don't start by saying greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I'm your host, Coyote McKinnon. I want to also take this time to say hello, um, good night, based on where you're listening uh, to me from. Um, based on where you're looking at the show. So we want to discuss, before we discuss anything, remember this show, uh, we talk all things soccer, but it's more it's more important um, than soccer. It's more about life and how you can use soccer to enable uh, you to live out uh, your purpose. So we challenge our young people. Um, we try to inspire them. We try to uh, impact their lives in a meaningful way to live out their purpose. You know, in these very uncertain times, you you need purpose. If you are going to uh, live a fulfilled life, if you if you're going to live a life that is fruitful, so. I mean, it's very difficult um, for most of our young people because they're not really given the opportunity to look at soccer, especially soccer, um, as a way of life, I think. Um, and I want to thank all of you who would have shared uh, our last show, who continue to share the show, who listen to the show, um, to who truly understand and, and give some feedback. Um, I think one Tremaine um, Divine that said um, it's it's it can be pertained to life, and that's the message we really want to uh, to push. That soccer should be used as something to teach life lessons and principles that, that will enable you to be um, a fulfilled person. It must not be looked at as a place to just drop your kids off and go take care of uh, take care of your business. Um, but it must be uh, more of um, the community coming together to raise the standard of our young people. This very crucial time. We talk about mental health. Um, we talk about depression. We talk about suicide. And you could talk to many people in different um, different aspects in different business dealing with young people. They are sometimes on constant watch, suicidal watch, because something is happening that continue to drive uh, negative behavior uh, that makes people don't want to be here, young people. So we have to see we have to see soccer, we have to see sports as a major player in encouraging certain principles that will help our young people to be better. So hopefully with the authenticity and the, um, the lack of script, scripted uh, things that you will be able to, you will be able to gather um, something here that will encourage you know, you might be a guardian. You might be a, 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 a might be responsible for some young athlete to understand it's more than just a game, but um, truly get to the deeper sense of is this part of your gift? Because once it's a if if it's your gift if if it's your ambition. If it's your uh, passion, um, most people don't understand. Okay, so I see Sony just came in. Thank you. Continue to share. 
me take this time to thank all of you who would have shared our show, who would have um, subscribed to our channel, who's looking at it from Spotify. Some look at it live on Facebook. Some go to YouTube. Uh, wherever you're listening from, uh, we appreciate it and continue to share to our young people. This is a this is a crucial time, very crucial time. I think we 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 take a lot of things for granted. And until something happened and it's close to our door, then we realize it's it becomes different. It, it has a different feeling. And some of us can bounce back and some of us can only say, or some of us can only say, if I had known. Um, the latter never uh, sits well. But before uh, we want to continue talking about the parent and the life of soccer. Um, and you wonder why we continue to uh, to go deeper and deeper. This is our 10th um, episode on this topic because uh, they are major players. Uh, they are major stakeholders in the development of our young people. And if they don't take that responsibility serious and they, they only see it as an opportunity for recreation and play time and don't understand um, the repercussions of competition and how it affects you emotionally, then we're missing the mark and we're doing more damage than we're helping our young ones to grow in a meaningful way. But just a short interruption before we dive deep into this topic um, to bring you uh, some of what KMSA offer uh, from a March perspective. We'll be right back. Coyote, McKinnon and Company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon and Company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kyle Show. Kyle McKinnon here, joining me to talk um, about parents and the life of soccer. It's the Greater Wall of Med. Wall. What's going on, sir? What's going on? What's up? Good, good, good. How's very, everything? Very, very uh, tough two weeks, fun two weeks in, 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 in the summer camp. Um, a lot of highs. Some lows, <laughs> general principle in life. Uh, yeah. But we know who run the world. We know who run the world. Um, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Just another day in the life of soccer. We call it <laughs> football, but it's just another day in the life of football and soccer. Yeah. So enjoying it. Like I said, I'm enjoying it, Kyle. It's a, it's a, it's a purpose. It's a purpose driven life, and I'm loving every day, learning every day, growing every day. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, some, some, you know, we had uh, must shout out the um, the KM UWS two ladies for showing good character in, in our game against um, the Crusaders after losing just a week week ago or so um, to come back and to show this high level of, of character and that's. Excuse me, that is, you know, that is what we talk about in, in terms of the importance of competition, how it it builds your character, it builds self-confidence. Um, you become more self-aware. You, you are put in situations where you can develop a growth mindset 
or you can have a fixed mindset. You can think what has happened is who you are, or you could use what has happened as a stepping stone uh, for greater things. And uh, we saw that our ladies took it on. Uh, they were brave. They were disciplined. Um, so much more work to get done. But that moment must be given to um, discipline and to a high level uh, of character. So if you're listening out there, kudos to you. Um, we have a game tomorrow in Linden uh, at the Wheeler Park. Um, so if I get it right, I'm going, I'm going to get the right information. But we have a game tomorrow. Look on our Instagram. Look on our um, Facebook. We will definitely update um, update you with the full info so that you could come out and support. Um, bring out the babies. Bring out the, the young girls so that they can be inspired. Um, they can um, they can be pushed in the right direction, knowing that there's a pathway. Um, how you felt about how you felt about the game? There, there, there was a lot going on. <laughs> there was a lot going on, but you they, they, you saw that with yeah. discipline, with character, you can overcome anything. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a very very emotional very emotional game. Like I said, I was I was I was fortunate to be there the first game. You know what I mean? And then coming back from your trip, you were there to be there. We were both there for the second game. But mm -hmm. like you said, we showed a lot of character. We showed a lot of character with, with all the circumstances that revolved around the certain situations, but we showed character. And like you said, we stuck. One thing I want to I want to point out, we stuck with what we do well. Let's let's mm -hmm. let's not forget we came there with a the plan and we stuck with the plan. It's not that we just came and played. We knew why we were there. We knew what we were supposed to do. And everybody contributed to what we were supposed to do. Yeah. Talking about plan, it's always important to have a plan. Um, yes. And then have a second one. <laughs> and then a third. <laughs> because everybody got a plan. They say in boxing, everybody got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Uh, they plan go out the door. So it's important to have first plan, second plan, third plan, and then some adjustments. Um but we're talking about parents, parents and the life of soccer, and you know I want to uh, to take this time to um, really show appreciation for for parents who truly understand uh, the importance of gifts and don't just see it as a happy hour thing or just something to do, uh, but really understand the importance of a child uh, living out their purpose living out their gifts and and having the faith you know more than anything having the faith uh, we know faith to be uh, things that you hope for the substance of things that you hope for and the evidence of things you cannot see it's a belief in one's heart in um it's a belief a belief in deep, the deeper lying part of your soul that you believe you can become uh, this thing because you're gifted to do so. That most people, uh, most people can't comprehend because it's not theirs. So shout out to the parents who, you know, I just saw something where a child was going off, going off to continue their development and and the parents were so proud and they were there with him. We know of the little player that his family moved to England so that he can go through the Chelsea Academy and now he's playing somewhere in Europe. We know parents who, uh, who would have looked past themselves to, to understand that you have created a life that has its own life. I'll say that again for, for the people at the back. They are parents who understand that they have created a life that got its own life. And then there's too many parents who created a life and think that life belonged to them. And that life must go in the direction that they have created. 
and, and that is not what God would have intended. A life is unique. And if that life is unique, then it's scary when somebody imposes their lives, their lives on someone else because they think that is the better life. Uh, your thoughts there because we're dealing with a we're dealing with a lot of young people. I know some people think we just come on here and we just want to talk. Uh, we just we just like making up stuff, right? Or all. But you know, what yeah, they don't no, understand is we deal with young people who many a times they are crying and they are hurting because you know people, you know, the people who in care who who should be caring about them the most seems not to understand. And they seem to just look past it and don't really recognize that um, this is a real desire. This is a dream that needs a journey. And, and if that journey and that path is not created, then it puts a barrier. And then you don't know where to go. Because if this is your direction to fulfillment and somebody stops you, let's say you 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 put in your GPS and you head in to a specific location, right? And then yeah. that location is blocked. Now you've got to try to reconnect with the GPS to take you in a different direction. And then the GPS don't understand that direction because you probably would have messed up with the programming. Now you're lost. And don't know where to go. Oh. And oftentimes when you're lost, you get frustrated. <laughs> you understand? When, yeah. when, oftentimes when you are lost, the steering wheel is at the mercy of your hands. The horn is at the mercy of your hands. Any car that is moving a bit too slow in front of you is at the mercy of you because you're lost. Is and it's the same way when we when we come across some young people who have this desire to play soccer because you have you know you we talking about parents in the life of soccer you would have made it not of none effect because you have this great life that you think someone should have and don't respect the uniqueness of that individual you begin the downward spiral of that person. Your thoughts? <clears throat> yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a story. Um, I remember with a, a kid I, I played uh, high school with, um, and he had he didn't really have a desire to play, which is crazy, Kaya. He didn't really have a desire to play, and I knew it because coming training, every time we got training, ah, you don't want to go, and, <laughs> and I'm like, man, this kid don't really want to play. But you see, time of practice, his father's, his father's 30 minutes, 30 minutes ready. Hey, you got your stuff. You got your stuff. Yo, we got to go. We got to go. We got. And I'm looking and I asked him, I said, why don't you just tell your father you don't want to play? Like, why are you, why are you doing it if you don't want to play? He just said, because he wants me to play. He wants me to try to get a scholarship or he, he wants me to play, but I don't want to play like baseball. I said, so why are you wasting your time? He said, if I do that, I'm not going to get nothing get no money for no college i'm not gonna get i'm not getting no car so i'm just mm, gonna do right. it because he wants me to do it and i'm oh, just wow. like dude you you yeah Kyle, yeah it's like i've experienced that and i was like that's sad but like you said it's all it's millions of kids going through that and vice versa so you got the you got the kid who don't want to be there have a other dream have other aspirations but once again this guardian, this parent, um, think that this life is the life. Because maybe it's their dreams. Excuse me, it's their dreams. And then on the other hand, child wants to play, but no, nah, that don't make no sense. Go in this direction. And, and sometimes, uh, to be honest, it's not always intentional. Because... Uh, they could easily say everybody want the best for their child, but they don't change the fact how dysfunctional it is, you know. And, and I make mention of that because oftentimes somebody will say, Well, I have to go on vacation, or 
I have to go on the school trip. And I'm missing two weeks of practice. And I'm saying, while I understand that you have to do both, and both make sense, it don't change the fact that you miss the chance you miss um, to uh, to have a bit of repetition to improve in aspects of the game that you're struggling with. So while uh, while there's one reality of you have to do this and you have to do that, we also must respect that. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, you will be where you are. Most people don't like to have that conversation because when they leave and they come back, they, they think they should pick up exactly where they left off. Once again, parents, you know, this is some of the things, these are some of the things that they do. And you you talk about it where parents sometimes are manipulating their kids to go on things that they don't want to be. They don't want to go on. Oh, if you don't go here, we ain't going to pay for this. But if you go, I'll pay for this. That's manipulation. <laughs> You're manipulating your child, and manipulation is witchcraft. Because you're trying to control somebody's mind um, or try to, you know, different from the person who trying to make somebody do something that they really don't want to do. But you will say that person on the street is dangerous and should be taken off the street, should be put in jail, <laughs> should be in front of firing squad. But yet you are doing the same thing in your own home to your own child just to please yourself. Um, you know, I, I was listening to something and I'm always listening to something or reading something because it's important to spend your time with quality things so you have a quality life. You know, we all got 24 hours. None of us got more than the other. All of us got 24 hours. It's important to maximize your time on this earth with every 24 hours that you have because you don't know when it might cut short. Um, but something amazing I came across, and they said that in every decade, if, if, if you listen and you don't know, 10 years is a decade. We in our... We in another decade, but we're two years in. Uh, one and what? We we're now in 2022, so we one and something in a new decade. But for every decade, um, <clears throat> it seems to have a, a certain trend or a certain a certain pattern of life. You know, uh, for this 10 years, it's a certain behavior. Uh, and something creates this event, just from my perspective, right? I might, I could be totally wrong. I just looking at life from that perspective. You know, in twenty, in two thousand and nine, I think with um, the World Trade Center stuff, right? That was a time of people scared. Right? Right. You're worried every time you jump on a plane. You like, okay, you you you're super aware. You you're looking around. Um, they put things in place to make sure that everybody's secure when flying. You can travel with certain things. You, they took it away. Then you know have to go through a scanner to make sure that everything is set. Because guess what? It's fear. It's fear and worry. But for me, this decade, I've seen a consistent pattern of inconsideration. <clears throat> It's there's such a lack of consideration on all fronts. Um, and the sad thing about it, when these trends, trends are something that people pick up. And once you pick up the trend and you start running with it, it becomes uh, this, uh, this way of life that they call change. You know? Oh, this is a new way. <laughs> this is a new yeah. thing. Uh, because everybody pick up that trend and it seemed to be uh, 
this over this 10 years period. And I think this 10 years is about in consideration. And we see in it how uh, somebody would know that they have a game. They have a game. And they will practice the day before the game. They will do all the sessions. They will do everything within the session like they're playing. And then they will call you nine in the morning and say, well, I'm not coming. For no, no excuse, nothing. Um, there's some people who will say, well, I have to go to a job, but they're lying. Because they're home, because they don't want to take a long trip. There's some people will tell you they have to go check their grandmother, but really and truly they had to go to a birthday party so that their parents could network with the person to get the business. But they lie. There's some people say, well, I'm on the highway and there's so much traffic. We can't make it anymore. We had to turn back. But you never left your house. So <laughs> this, the level of inconsideration that this 2022 have shown and it's you know it's been going constantly with me like <laughs> they're so an inconsiderate people are you know they do things with so much selfishness okay there's there's no consideration for their behavior. There's no thinking of, you know, how this can affect a situation. Which brings me to the story of, which added more to why I believe these next 10 years, you will see a level of inconsideration that you've never seen before. Like, you could show up to feel And a person will decide in the in the final minute that uh, I'm not gonna make it today. You set up every single thing, and how they say it, how they how they approach it all, well, it's like, are you not are you not even listening to what you're saying? That do you even? There's so much things. Go go ahead. You. Like we could go on and on why I firmly believe this is a decade of inconsiderate people. Some might disagree. Go ahead. Okay. But you know, you gotta look at it. Like I said, I was I was raised I was raised here. I was here, I was raised here from Ghana. So the, with that culture I know me and you talk about all the time, it's it's a culture of it's a culture of myself, me, myself, and I, it's, I feel like it's always been that way. If you're around your surroundings, mm -hmm. you need to focus on yourself. It's it's crazy now. Like, I mean, we talk about it all the time and it's something that we have to, I have to, I have to literally be conscious of and get rid of it. You know what I mean? I have to get rid of that because it's, it's something that's almost embedded in me because it's literally, you see it all over. They, they advertise it, they market is myself, me, myself, and I. Even if you're a coach, even your family, see mm -hmm. something they tell you. Worry about yourself. If something's going on in the street, don't don't worry about nothing. Somebody's getting hurt, boy, focus on yourself. Keep walking. It's I'm 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 <laughs> even thinking about it right now. Certain things that I've heard of when I was in the past is like, yes, yeah, focus. Yeah, focus on you. You're right. It's what it is. A lot of people even even to this even to this past um, past few days, you know, you saw me you saw me um, dealt with something. I was driving on the highway. You saw me dealt with something that, you know, you look at these things on YouTube and you look at these things on Facebook and you, you know, you like whoa. And and and. What is amazing sometimes, right? You see some comments and people like, oh, just listen to what just listen to what you're being told and follow the instruction. I don't give no problem problems. But this past couple of days, I was I was just driving. I was just driving on the highway and 
dude, I'm I'm in the slow lane, just cruising. You know, the highway is about 65, 65 miles per hour, and I'm doing like 50. So I know I'm not going fast, and, and cars are flying past me. So I know they're going faster than I am. Amazing, these two cops pull up, pull up to the side of me. You know, they pull up to the side of me. And they have the whole road to just go past me. But they pull up to the side of me. And then they drop back and drop back. And I was like, whoa, something up, something is wrong. That, man. They drove there for like three minutes. They went past me and go away. I'm in a slow lane going at 55. I was just like, just finished practice and just going, going about my business. They pull up behind me. I was like, why are you pull? So I'm looking in my rearview mirror because it's like, am I driving too slow? <laughs> Am I, am I, what am I doing? I mean, I'm in the lane. After like five minutes, just following me on the highway. And I just looked in the review. They stopped me. They, they, they stopped me. And I was like, okay, what is this now? So they, <laughs> these two cops came up to me and they're like, what is going on? I was like, why me? What is, what is going on? It's like, you, I saw you looking in your rear view mirror. Are you looking at us? I said, yeah, I'm looking at you because I wonder we pull up behind me for. What do you pull up behind me for? I'm not, I know I'm not driving fast because cars are passing me. Why you didn't go behind them? It's like, so if you're in the, if you're in the slow lane, you're in the corner of the road. Mm -hmm. These two cops telling me that I look like I was, I was swerving off the line and coming back. I said, are you serious? So it's like, where are you going? I was like, I'm going home from practice. They said, do you know where you're going? Do you know where home is? I was like, I used, <laughs> you know, you, you, you hear these things and, but I'm not going to go into the whole, the whole journey of this 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 whole thing but like you see me with a with a whistle you see me ball you see me everything and i'm telling mm -hmm. you that everything is intact you're trying to make up a story because you felt i was looking at how do you know i was looking at you in my review you was following me for like five minutes so you pull up to the side and then you drop off and pull up behind me. I, I don't I don't understand that. And in that moment, I was like, and it's like the the things they were saying and, the, and how they like, uh, don't get out of the car. I was like, what what. What, what am I, I'm sitting right here. You ask me something, I give it to you. Don't, don't come out of here. It's like, it's like these guys just keep saying something to just like provoke and just, just be like so violating somebody because of the color of skin. It was crazy. And in that one moment, I'd be like, this is why, boy, people feel the way they feel. Because when it's, when it don't happen to you, Mm -hmm. You think somebody should do this and should do that and act this and act like that. But until it actually happened to you, until something actually happened to you, because if, if you're driving fast, you make a bad turn, you do, you, you miss a light, you, you jump over the stop sign. Well, boy, you have to get stopped because you break in the law. But when you feel like you have, haven't done nothing and you felt like you be treated like you did something. It tells me that these people could do anything in that moment. And that could be your last day of freedom. Because if you could stop somebody for not doing absolutely nothing and start making up stuff, this is why it, it compound on the level of inconsideration uh, that you are seeing and this wasn't just one we you and i know 
it's a whole week of events where we just you like whoa what is wrong <laughs> like to the point where you have to ask the question like don't you like how do you guys feel doing or saying or behaving in the manner in which you're doing but but that moment right there i was like when you don't know you don't know until you experience it when a child going through this emotional um roller coaster and it's just you oh it's just soccer it's just soccer whatever whatever it's just soccer and then something critical happen and it's at your house it's at your door what will you tell somebody else exactly. then you become an advocate then you become an advocate mm -hmm. yeah you become an advocate because it's at your door mm -hmm. but it's not a time to be inconsiderate it's a time to be considerate because whatever the trends are expecting of you you have to be different you have to be different because that's where to me the blessings is the blessings are because father above um, had nothing selfish about him you know but in humility he consider others to the point where he was he had a servant's heart you know and that is the definition of being considerate he did nothing of selfish nature he had no selfish nature in him you know he had uh, the nature of a servant a servant's heart and parent in the life of sako what has happened what has happened here is you know parents care more about prices they care more about prorated services that's the new term now i miss one day is it prorated <laughs> i miss two days out of two months you miss two days you want you just miss two days oh is it prorated so is it it has become a a a, a, a business of prices prices and much. poor rate services pretty much oh they say we have to be smart oh we have to be smart about our investment okay so if you give less investment to something what are you saying about that thing so let's go back think about think about it over listen to what okay. they say we have to be smart with our investment, right? Which is awesome. Everybody should be smart. You should have some amount of wisdom. But if you give less, if you give less to an investment, to making an investment, you want to give less. You're making this investment, but you want to give less. What are you saying about the thing you invest in? <laughs> I'm, I'm not okay. invested. I'm not invested in it. Then, if I'm giving less, then my, that means I'm not. No, if that thing is your child, if that thing is your child, yeah. And the first thing you can ask about is prices and prorates. Not. Not how this will mentally help my child. Excuse me. Not how this will enable discipline in my child. All principles that will be long lasting, that will stabilize um, the life dealing with this world that is cruel, this world that is selfish, this world that is dysfunctional. They don't. They don't. They don't ask none of these things. They don't. They don't ask how mentally it would um, bring self awareness that will bring growth. Yes, Sonia. People are troubled, and because they're troubled, they use sometimes soccer as a place to for them to get away from their own kids. It's not an investment. <laughs> I gotta go do my hair, so let me put you in this program. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go do my nails. Oh, I want to go hang out with my friends on on this day. So, oh, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, I want to do some, um, I want to do some riding, so I can, 
what it's just it's just all of these these things that benefit them more than the investment of the child i know some of you will be offended but guess what remember what this show is this show is about impacting young people it's about inspiring young people you understand it's about letting them understand that when you are not there for them they don't need to go take their own lives mm-hmm. when you don't want to support them they don't need to turn to drugs Exactly. They don't need to turn to alcohol. They don't need to turn to crazy living. But for them to understand that their gifts will make room for them. And it will bring them before great men. And it might not have nothing to do with you. Because we've become a people of prices and pro rates. But then we say it's smart investments. We have to make smart. What they're actually saying, we want to make as less investment as possible mm-hmm. because we don't believe child make. We don't it. believe in our child. Yeah, that's the reality. That's the truth, Kyle. Talk to them. That is the, that is the truth, Kyle. That, that is that is the absolute truth. If and we've seen it, we've seen it. We're not gonna lie. We've seen the ones like you said. We see. Let's let's go more to the positive ones. We've seen the ones that do anything for their kid. We know like, boy, this parent, this parent knows that this kid loves this game. This guy has a passion for it. You see him, he, hey coach, what, what do you think he needs? He, he, they always look for you, the expert for advice. They don't, they don't think, they don't think what they should be thinking. They, they reach out to you. Hey coach, what do you think he should be doing? What do you think she should be doing? Do you think this is good? Okay, coach, let us know when we should do it. When, when should he come? You know, those are the parents that like you said, you thank them right in the beginning. Those are the parents that know this is their purpose. The child has a passion for it, and we want to support 110%. It doesn't matter. Whatever the child wants, because this is this is his passion or she's a passion, let's support them 100%. It's not about us. It's about the child. Yeah, because um, I said the heart of the author always follow his message. So when people approach things a certain way, you know where their heart is. Um, and, and I say that because this is a powerful scripture that I, I I hold true to. Like you read these things and you're younger and you hear these things, but it never really register. Um, if you're out there, let us know you're out there. Uh, share your thoughts, ask questions. Let us know how you feel. Um, does this make sense? Because it makes sense to us. But we respect your perspective also. It's always good for conversation and provoke uh, solutions. Um, so it's not about being right. It's speaking to a reality that we're facing. It's not, it's, it's, it's not uh, just opinions, but there's objective data to back up that these things are happening presently where people will have their first thought about money and prices and prorates rather than how does this benefit this life that I've brought into this world? And and nobody's telling you you have to, uh, you don't have to this or you have to do that. But remember, you create a life that has its own life. It's not your life. It's not what you want them to be. It's not where you want them to go. But you have a power that could defeat the very nature of the gift that was given to them. And a lot of you are doing it because we know. We've experienced it. So I like this scripture that says, take no thought of your life. Take no thought of your life, what you shall eat, what you shall drink, what you shall wear. The key things, to, the key thing to get what you eat, what you drink, and what you wear is what? Money. You cannot eat if you haven't invest money. You cannot wear clothes. See, people go, go to the best store, they go put on the best gear. Money. 
But he said, take no thought in that. He said, take no thought in money. Take no thought in money. I say it a thousand times. Take no thought in money. Why though? Life is worth much more than meat. Life, your life, this, this oxygen that you have, that you wake up every day and you say, God, thank you for life. Where has that gone? Where did pro rate and prices has, has become the most, the, the most important thing? But the first thing you get up and you say is, thank you for life. Because life is more important than money. Because what is money if you have no life? But you say thanks for life. Isn't life more important than meat? And the body more important than remnant? Of course. If you ask somebody, would you like, would you rather clothes or life? What do you think they would choose? I don't really, yeah. Kinda but yet they bit. make, yet the first thing they ask about when they show up to your program is about prices. What is the price? I, I, I see soccer, I see it. What, what is the price? What is the price? Do you ask what's the price for your life? What is the price for your child's life? Tell me. I would like to know. Some parents who might be here listening and you might say, what are you talking about? I want you to explain to us here, explain to our listeners, what is the price for your life? What is the price for your child's life? Is it $2,000? Is it $3,500? Is it $10,000? What price would you pay to bring your child back if you lose them tonight? What price can you pay? What price are you willing to pay? Is it a million dollars? You don't pay anything. I can't buy it back. That can't buy life. <laughs> $6,000. cannot buy life at all. It cannot buy life. What is more important than life? Is meat more important than life? No. What are you, what are you literally saying is money more important than a life? You have a child only aspiring to be the best they could be in a sport that teaches every aspect of life. Discipline, commitment, responsibility, accountability, health. Everything. Teach you how to take initiative. Be proactive. Focus. Concentration. Things that you need, all tools that that you need in life for anything in life. Yet, what is the price? What is the price for their life? I want to know. So should we give them a time to see if anybody will answer? Yeah, what no, is the price of your child's life? That is the question. That's a serious, that's a serious question. Because if, if, God forbid. You lose your child. What can you pay to get them back? What can you pay? People. <laughs> would it be a prorate? Would they? Would, would Would you be able to prorate them to come back for at least two years? Uh, oh, just give me them. Just give me them for two years. What would be the prorated cost? Yeah, what is the price? Priceless. I, I, I want to know the price. <laughs> There's no price, Kyle. You know that. You know there's no price. People would say they do. They will move mountains for their kids. Kids are dealing with stress. Oh, well. Kids are depressed. Because somebody's imposing their lives. And it's, oh, it's just soccer. No, it's not soccer. It's not just soccer. It was never just soccer for me. It was more. 
You demanded more of yourself. You wanted more. You wanted to be better. You wanted to grow. You wanted to change your life. You wanted to change the situations around you. You wanted to empower more young people. You wanted to give back. You wanted to get someone out of the situation they were in. It was more than just the game. And there are kids who are like that. Because why do they cry when they lose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do they suffer so much when they can't make that step forward? What are you telling them? There's so much parents are so negative. The child can't even come in the house properly before some negative thing exactly. would, have, would have said. Exactly. They continue. This youth system and this youth soccer thing continue to create depressive kids. Continue to create stressful young people. Because they have to deal with this decade of parenting. And guess what? You got eight more years. Because it's the most inconsiderate people you will come across in this next eight years. So you better learn to be considerate. Better learn to be considerate because that's the only thing will save you. Is the only thing that will bring some peace to your life. Because we think about the falls of the year. They don't worry about nothing. They don't store up nothing. They don't protect nothing. But yet they eat eating every day. They, listen, they own the whole thing. They, they fly on your house, fly on my house, go build a whole nest on yours. They go in the tree. They eat from every tree. They do what they want. They mess any way they want like they don't care. They got no cares in this world. It's just free. They just do what they want. Yet God said, boy, I take care of them. What about you? Yet you take in thought. Now save it up. Because if you save it up, right, mm -hmm. use wisdom, use wisdom, but don't be like the man with the one talent. Because he made that more important than life. Life, life is priceless. So when you said it best, life is priceless. Mm -hmm. Nobody say just go throw it away, but but we, but we see them all. We listen. We hear them. It's not with wisdom. It's with fear. With scheme. With being smart. But tell me the price for our life. I We could be wrong. Okay. We are wrong. Hands up. We are wrong. All I want Stay to know, first. what is the price? What is the price for your child's life? Oh, soccer don't mean nothing. Okay. Why get them involved? Why get them involved? So we do one video and we get out here. I think we got one and leave them with that a bit. What is the price of your child's life? A very interesting topic. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> So about parents that. that complain about their team always losing, but their kids are always missing practice. Yes. We, we're, we're losing every game. We, we Oh, the team not good. The team not good. But your child never had a practice session. Yes, the team not good because there's no team. <laughs> this... And, 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 and what? We keep saying that. Why people think they're in a team? What is a team? You know what is a team? Liverpool is a team and a club and everything else. Manchester is a team and a club and everything else. Who, who, we could call a thousand more teams that, is, that are real teams. How oh, you are a team. You, if one coach could tell me that he signed 12 players and every practice he had 12 players, I want one coach to tell me that. I coached at the club for 10 years, and I'm telling you that not one time in 10 years I had every single child that signed up to play soccer. So how is the team? How? What, what is the definition of team? So so then if you are a team, what, what is Barcelona? Who is Barcelona? They're a team too? You train in three days a week, and you could never have the same kids in three days straight. You Coaches will tell you, we will miss two kids. We will miss one. And we, we will have one who train on Wednesday, but don't come on Friday. And then 
The one who come on Friday can't show up to the game on Sunday. So the one who missed Friday and Wednesday come to play the game on Sunday. What? What? What is a team? Oh, the team always losing. Where is the team? Where is the team? Okay, well, you you probably know. You 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 grew up in the culture. Where? How how did he find the team? What is the team? What is the team? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we find a team by we go team is defined by by wins, Kyle. In in, in this country that we have been blessed to, to to live in. Um it wins, Kyle. It's whatever group of kids that have been brought together that can win a number of games, regardless of the kids show up or don't show up, as long as they win, they're considered as a team. Put kids together okay. to play. That's what a team is. That's what the definition of a team. But they're not together because they're not together. They're only together maybe on Sunday. They're not together on no other days. You could go on vacation for two weeks straight and come back and (laughs) you ready to play. But you was on the sun. You was drinking juice. You you were having a good time. You come back and you're ready to go. And you want to play 50% of the game. And then the coach don't, and then the parents lose it. Oh, we gotta leave. This this team ain't good. What team? You are not there half of the time. How is it a team? And when you are there, two more people not there. What is a team? This is and we talk about this because it, it we don't see the value in soccer here. We don't really see the value at every level. Now, if you're playing for fun, you're playing for fun. You want to play for rec, go enjoy yourself, kick around, get busy, just go, just get something done. But that's not the case at all. You see them red games? You see them red games? You saw the fight at the red game? <laughs> where the, where, the, where, the, where, where, where the, the, the parent and the referee, big fighting and all kind of thing at the red game. So where... So where is the is the semblance of oh we just here for fun and have a good time and everybody both teams just hooray we love each other let's eat something and let's just talk about it in a red game team gets scored on parents fold up chair storm after the car wreck bro wreck wreck in a wreck game in a wreck storm and after it's the supposed wreck. to be fun wreck how wreck. how so. So we face with this dilemma. And you know, one thing about growth is you you have to be vulnerable and you have to to accept that you've done it wrong. You have to accept that um, you haven't gotten it right. And that's that's for all of us. Uh, that is the purpose of growth, to know and to recognize that there's something you need to do better. And it makes you uncomfortable. Growing makes you uncomfortable. Nothing about growing is easy. Okay? But then as I said, dreams are, dreams are free, but the journey is expensive. I think he said that, but it's a journey. And you must accept that it comes with something. With that being said, you know, hopefully that you don't put a price on a gift. Hopefully that you see the gift more than you see yourself. Hopefully um, that you could put fuel in the car of your child more than take the fuel out. When the fuel come out, the car is dead. It don't move. Not even water could save you. It could have, but we know what happened. But no, water can't save you. So be a be someone that at fuel, that 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 push the car when it looks like you know it's gonna it's gonna struggle a bit. Give it a push. Give it a you know, give it something to, to make it move again. There's too many holding it back with the excuses of a price. 
It's too many want to get involved using the price tag. Oh, I paid for this, so I need this. No discipline, no work hard to show yourself approved, no learn the game, no develop your skills, no, no develop your technique, no, no, none of that. No, is oh no, no, I, I I pay, I came to see and, and I need this. Who 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 is this guy? Who who is this coach? What what is he doing? No accountability, no, no, no listen. In times in life, you're not gonna always get what you want. Now go back and show me that you could fight and get what you want. Nah, the coach ain't know nothing. The coach is dumb. He he don't know what he's doing. Why did he put this person? Why didn't he put you? They go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. I think they're doing a fantastic job. No, you're not. Because those things will not help them in their own lives. Because with any journey, you will be faced with setbacks. You'll be faced with troubles. You will be you'll be faced with, with things that you don't expect. You will be every single day that you get up, you should expect that something you will get that you never expect. And you're gonna have to learn to deal with that. You're gonna have to learn to overcome that. You're gonna have to maintain your peace in all of that. So train up the child. So you are doing. The job of training up, regardless if you want it or not, you are preparing them maybe for the next decade. What will they be? Who will they be? And why will they be that? Final words, we're leaving early tonight. We, we're not keeping the people long. Yes, a um, couple things. Just like I said, with um, there's no price, there's no price for the life of your child. I think we should definitely do a, a podcast on that. That was, that's that that's a serious topic because it, I've 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 encountered some some parents or I've encountered some parents that honestly with the the, this, the world that we live in, a lot of people look at money as everything, Kyle. It's sad to say, but a lot of people look at money as as everything before their child. I've seen it. I've seen it. So to say that everybody will say, oh, no, my child is priceless. I don't I don't think so, Kyle. I really don't think so. But <laughs> it's true. It's the not truth, guy. True. Like, people not don't want to talk about it. Not but true. It's the truth. It's yeah. the truth. Because they yeah. say, again, the, the, the love of money. People love money. So, like I said, just encourage. We will go to encourage their, their child. If your child has a passion for something, Encourage them honestly. That's the word I want to put. Encourage them honestly because we know how some like to to fake encourage, and we know what that looks like. We know what yeah. you know what encourage look like with the pricing. That's what that's what encourage looks like. Oh, we'll do this, but we won't do this. We'll do this, but we won't do this. That's a yeah. fake encourage. You don't want that. Encourage your child because your child has a passion for something, and he truly he or she truly wants to succeed in something they love. Regardless if it's yeah. soccer, regardless if it's baseball, piano, encourage a child. Because like I said, the life of a child is precious. And to lose a child, I, I never would even want to want to imagine what that feels like, Kyle. So like you said, let's let's continue to encourage and continue to push every day. Yeah, fantastic. So hopefully this podcast um, would have helped in some way, uh, in some way or in some shape. Um, Young people, continue to keep your heads up. Um, stay, stay the course. Stay on the journey. There's bruises, there's bumps. Stay on the journey. Um, nothing stays the same forever. Change is the only constant thing. Um, regardless of what you're facing right now, what you're dealing with right now, lack of support, lack of encouragement. Um, listen, your gifts make room for you. We don't need to worry about money. We don't need to worry about that. If your heart is in the right place, you will be provided for. If your heart is in the right place, things will be provided to accomplish what you already have. You don't need to run behind anything. You don't, you don't need to ask somebody if they're smart, if you are smart. You know what it looks like. You don't need to ask somebody if they're dumb, if you are dumb, because you know what that looks like also. So 
Yes, everybody have this situation, but if if your heart is genuine and you 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 have this desire to do what is right, there's such uh, there's such a favor that comes on you that you, you, you know your glass your glass start overflowing because you 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 giving you giving what God has given to you back to Him. So stay stay strong, stay strong, stay the course, keep praying, um, and hopefully we have more young people that will have more amazing stories for the next generation to come. Stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your week. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun, so why not name it Rec? An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching there's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.